What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I gotta hip you guys to the news, give you the updates. Shout out to TMZ and TMZ Sports. They're the one that got the footage with Oscar De La Hoya. Now, Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy himself, has pondered the idea of coming out of retirement. Now, I, I had heard this surfacing like a while ago, seen him, he was working out, so I was like, oh, maybe he's serious about it, because he looked like he was in good shape. He looked pretty, pretty brocky. But, um... I didn't think too much of it, but recently on the radio, he did a radio interview and he was kind of reiterating saying like, basically I'm training, I'm running, I'm getting that feeling again, that good old feeling, you know, the, the feeling that fighters get where you, you just miss the game. I think it happens to the best of athletes, not even just boxing. You look at Michael Jordan and when he retired, he, he just felt that itch, you know what I mean? To get back in the game, came back with the wizards, et cetera, et cetera. So I think De La Hoya is getting that feeling. Now, on TMZ, TMZ Sports camera crew, they caught him in Los Angeles after his fight card. And they were saying, oh, who would you fight? Shane Mosley? Would you fight Roy Jones? And he's like, oh, Shane, I don't I don't know if I want to get beat again. Like, just just uh, chilling. And then out of nowhere, he says, if I do come out of retirement, I want Triple G. I want to face Gennady Golovkin. <laughs> so I link in the description. Make sure you check it out. I just want to get my thoughts on Oscar De La Hoya possibly unretiring. Now, the crazy thing is, I think Oscar De La Hoya, even though he's been on a seven-year layoff since the Pacquiao loss, I think he can if he fights at his healthy weight. Like, you know what I mean? He's not trying to make welterweight or nothing at this point of his career. If he fights at the right weight, I think he can give some people that work. I think he's still, like, he had a hell of a chin. Um, his left hook was money. And if he has the right conditioning and he comes back the right way, he could give people problems and if not, beat them. You know what I mean? I really, truly believe that. He has a lot of experience, things like that. A lot of big fights. Hopkins, Mosley, Fernando Vargas, like Mayorga. I mean, he has tons of big fight experience, Olympic experience, etc. So I actually like it. You know what I mean? I made a video and I actually made a joke um, on my Instagram saying he, he wants to come back out of out of retirement and fight Triple G, and then he really says this shit. So I, I thought it was funny. I made a joke on my Instagram weeks ago saying that because obviously Golden Boy, they have went through a renovation. Their stable is not what it once was, and they don't have some of the same fighters. So I was like, okay, Oscar's getting in shape because of that, and now he's going to come back and, and fight, you know what I mean, to, to save his company and get some big money fights and some publicity. But as far as Triple G in De La Hoya, Trust me, I would pay top dollar to watch it. The The only thing is, after a seven-year layoff, uh, I don't know. Especially a guy as active as Triple G. And the other thing is, Triple G has a, a nasty body attack. So if I was Triple G, I would just pound Oscar De La Hoya's body, no homo. Um, because after that's you could get in good shape, but your age is going to catch up with you if someone's banging to the body. And someone with the immense amount of power like Triple G... I just don't know if that's a good look for De La Hoya. But, hey, if he step, if Triple G fought De La Hoya, I would honestly say that's the best name on his resume. So I'm not going to knock it. I, I don't know if, if De La Hoya would be able to beat him again. Like I said, Triple G is a phenomenal um, body puncher. He's very active. So I think that type of things would um, catch up to De La Hoya if they were to fight. But that's just my personal opinion and speculation. You guys let me know what you think of Oscar De La Hoya coming out of retirement. Some people are going to say crazy stuff. Oh, fight Canelo. He's not going to fight his own fighter, Canelo. But let me know matchups that you would like to see. Would you watch the Triple G fight? Does he have any chance to beat Triple G? Um, like I said, for me, I don't see him beating Triple G just based on this is just kind of Triple G's time. He has a lot of power. The body attack. I think the body attack would really do it in. I mean, De La Hoya got stopped by Bernard Hopkins with the body attack. So, you know what I mean, being out of sports seven years, inactive. And see, this is the thing. This is what I'm not trying to take away from Oscar De La Hoya shine, but I look at boxing and professional sports as a job, you know what I mean? And when Floyd Mayweather, he doesn't abuse his body, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. So when he retired, quote unquote, when he retired and he was dancing with the stars and stuff, he was still in the gym. I know people, you know what I mean? And they said that he was in the gym, you know what I mean? He was still living the fighter lifestyle, still eating pretty cool. You know what I mean? He eats Del Taco or whatever, Taco Bell, whatever the shit he eats. But for the most part, he didn't abuse his body. But you look at guys like De La Hoya and guys like Ricky Hatton, in their layoffs, they abuse their body 
hadn't gained like 200 pounds and he's a short dude. Um, he was doing substance abuse like Coke. Uh, De La Hoya, same thing. He was he was doing some some damaging things to his body, drugs. That's why he went to rehab, drugs, alcohol abuse, partying, and stuff like that. So that's the other thing that could catch up to you the older you get. So like I said, I'm all for it. I like De La Hoya. If he wants to come back, uh, I would support him taking fights. But I just think those types of things would uh, prevent him from beating a guy like Triple G. You know what I mean? You got to take care of your body. It's your temple. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.